I have an incurable sweet tooth and fresh fruit from Aldi is the perfect solution. Here to help me make a healthy fresh fruit dessert is my friend Sally, registered dietitian and Aldi advisory council member. Thanks Bridget. Well as a dietitian I'm here to say that healthy eating does not mean skipping dessert. Good. Today we are making tropical broiled pineapple boats and what I love about this recipe is that it's not only healthy but it's also really fun. It is, so let's get started. I'm gonna start by cutting open our pineapple and then Sally you get to jump on our toppings. We are tossing together a half cup each of shredded coconut and slivered almonds. You're getting some nice heart healthy fats with those almonds. Just go ahead and toss them on the same pan. We're going to toast those in the oven at 350 for about six to eight minutes or until they're evenly browned. Once it starts to smell good, that's how you know it's done. For our little pineapple boats, I went ahead and just lopped off the top and the bottom of a pineapple, and then you're gonna quarter it and then core it, so take out that tough core, and then I just slice away the flesh from the skin. Before I discovered Aldi, I rarely bought fresh pineapple, but it's such a good price. I feel like it's really inexpensive compared to when I find it at other places. And then from here, I just go back through and cut little manageable pieces. If this was a really ripe pineapple, you wouldn't really have to add anything at all, but I like the addition of a little bit of agave nectar. You know, we're just spreading on about two tablespoons of agave nectar, and agave nectar is so sweet that you really don't need very much. Then we're gonna turn the oven on to broil, and we just wanna get a nice caramelization on the top of our pineapple boats. And here they are. Ta-da! They look so good. Gorgeous. This is exactly why I love broiling fruit. It's for that caramelization, that great color, and I think the agave kind of helps that process. I agree. Should we plate one up? Sounds good. Okay, let's pick our prettiest one. Okay. Maybe this guy. Okay. And then will you sprinkle it with some of that yes. toasted coconut and those almonds? This is a totally versatile recipe, though. You can see there's so few ingredients. You can use any nut you want. You could have your kids sprinkle it on. They might really enjoy that. Make it interactive. And then I like to garnish it with just a little bit of fresh lime. I think just that fresh pop of acidity brings out the sweetness. And there you go, a very simple, elegant dessert that will really satisfy your sweet tea. For more information and better for you recipes, visit Aldi.us. Or like Aldi on Facebook.